Today, we're in Twickenham, home of England rugby. Now, I'm not here for the rugby. I'm here to give the fountain a try. See what I've done there? Now, we've all been to a beef eater. And me, I haven't been for about five, six years. So I'm looking forward to it. It's great value for money. As always, let's give it a try. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I've got the menu here. Um, let's get started together. So I've got lots of sharers there. Thrill of the grill. Always like the thrill of the grill. I'm here for the steak today. And you're gonna have steak your way. Choose your steak, choose your side, seal the deal, or a little bit of extra. Me, I'm going for their Grill Masters Favourites, which is a steak sampler. Now this has everything in there. Four ounce sirloin, uh, four ounce tender fillet and a four ounce rump as well. Uh, it's served with peppercorn sauce, grilled flat uh, mushroom, roasted tomato, onion rings and triple cooked chips. Now, I actually don't like mushrooms. I've asked them to take the mushroom off. Uh, I've asked for it medium rare and it's £23.49p. What you have to do, you have to go to the bar, order and obviously they bring it to the table. So I'll see you in a minute. Only waited 10 minutes, meal's arrived. Got some onion rings, the chips, a little bit of watercress. Uh, I think they gave me an extra half a tomato because I, I didn't have the mushroom. Got my fillet steak here, the rump steak, the sirloin, and the peppercorn sauce. Let's see how they're cooked. I'm gonna start off with the sirloin. Now I've got to say that is cooked perfectly. Very, very good. Let's see how the rump's cooked. Yeah, that's a little bit more medium than medium rare. And the fillet. The fillet's medium rare as well. Okay, first impressions. There's nice charring on top of all, all three steaks there. Uh, the tomatoes are definitely charred. Uh, and they're all definitely four ounce steaks. Let's give them a go. Mm. Gotta say that sirloin steak, it's been cooked perfectly. It is succulent and it is very, very tender. Onto the rump. I'd say a really nice flavour off the rump. The charring on top has given it a real beefy taste. A little bit overdone for me, but Still very, very tasty. Now the one I'm really looking forward to, the fillet. Mm. 
as you can guess there, that was a bit tough. It's not tender at all. Might have been the first cut I've had, so a reserve judgment on that. Onion ring. Hmm. Nice and crisp. Yeah, nice onion ring. Try one of the chips. Let's try it with the peppercorn sauce. Peppercorn sauce looks very thick. I've got to say, looking at the chips, I thought they were going to be a little bit dry. But they're not. They're very crisp on the outside and light and fluffy in the middle. So, yeah. Tomato. Tomato is well cooked, very soft, with that charring as well. That's very, very nice. My only worry is this fillet steak. I'm going to give it another go. Certainly not tender. You can see there's a bit of a mission cutting into it. That is not a tender piece of fillet steak. The sirloin is definitely the star of the show. I'm going to have a piece of that just with some peppercorn sauce. Mm. The sirloin steak is absolutely excellent and it does go very well with the peppercorn sauce. I keep losing that chip off the plate. I'm going to tuck in and I'll see you shortly. Okay, well I finished the meal. What a strange meal. Sirloin steak, cooked very nicely. Real nice flavor to it, nice taste to it. Excellent charring, perfectly cooked. Rump steak, medium. Uh, and that had a nice flavor as well. A little bit chewy, but a nice flavor. That was okay. The fillet steak, well I don't know where they got the fillet steak from because that wasn't edible. Um, I had to leave it. Um, how can I say? It was chewy, it was tasteless. It just was inedible. So you've got three different steaks there. Good, okay, shocking. On to the rest of the meal. The onion rings, they were light, crispy, very nice. The uh, chips, uh, Crispy on the outside, soft and delicate on the inside. The tomatoes were nicely cooked, and uh, the watercress was watercress. Peppercorn sauce was rich, creamy, and very, very thick. But I can honestly say I'm struggling here, really struggling. Um, I haven't been here to a beef eater, as I said earlier on, for five, six years, and I'm not looking to really hurry back. That wasn't an enjoyable meal. The setting, the surroundings, uh, this pub needs an investment. Uh, the standards here are okay. Uh, we're out in the beer garden, there's loads of cigarette um, ends here. Uh, the, the grass needs cutting, the chains are hanging off. It needs an investment here. The staff are very, very nice, they're very polite. Um, you go to the bar, you order the food yourself, they bring it to the table, so the staff are nice, there's, there's no issues there. Uh, for for twenty three pound seventy five p, I've got to say, it's a value chain. So I've got to understand it's a value chain. However, there's no value in having good, bad, 
and shocking. So marks out of 10, I'm gonna to have to give it a very disappointing six out of 10. A six out of 10. <laughs> However, please don't let me put you off coming to a beef eater. Uh, many people have come to beef eaters over the years and, and really enjoyed themselves. I might have just had a bad day. Uh, we all have bad days at the office. If you could like and subscribe to our channel, I'd really appreciate that. If you could let me know what you thought of the meal. Um, and am I being a bit harsh or a bit generous? I don't know. Until next time, cheers.